Good morning, Abe. Whoa! How are you this morning? Two thumbs up, man. You know, you're always pulling bugs out of my hair, but you need somebody to pull stuff off you. You've got dirt, twigs, and everything. Are there no other apes around to help take care of you? Oh. We need to help you. If we ever see Abe around, we need to start cleaning him up. He's got crazy stuff all over him. Anyway, Abe, this morning I'm going to be speaking to the parents about having confidence in the gospel and what we know about Jesus. Okay? So there's a story from the disciples where Jesus came back to life after he had died and the disciples couldn't believe it. Because that's crazy. People don't come back to life. Mm. So one of the disciples, his name was Thomas, he's like, I don't know, guys. I'm not sure. So Jesus came and he appeared to them. Whoa. And he's like, Thomas, here I am. Touch me. Whoa. Feel me. I'm really here. Whoa. Ah. Yeah. All right, let's read the story. So this is from the New Testament, from the book of John. Chapter 20. So, Thomas was not with the disciples when Jesus appeared to them the first time. Okay. He refused to believe that Jesus was really alive again unless he saw him with his own eyes. A week later, the disciples met again in the same house, but this time Thomas was with them. Oh, what's going to happen? Suddenly, Jesus appeared. He turned to Thomas and said, Reach out! Touch my wounds! Touch where he'd been cut! Exactly. Now, you don't need to doubt anymore, Thomas. Thomas fell down to his knees and he said, Jesus said to him, rather, You believe in me because you have seen me. But blessed are those who do not yet see me, but they still believe. Oh. Jesus right there is talking to us. We haven't actually seen him, most of us, but we believe. And he says we're blessed because we trust the word that has been shared with us. Okay. Well, kids, if you have a hard time believing, talk to your parents about that. This morning we're going to talk with them about having confidence in the gospel. And maybe you'll have an interesting conversation with them. Hope you have a good morning. Before we leave, let's pray together. Father, we thank you that we can have confidence. We thank you that we can trust that Jesus really did raise back to life because of the words that have been shared with us, because of the people that saw him for themselves, and because of the miracles we see in our lives, how our lives are changed and how others are changed too. Father, we ask that you would help us to be confident, to trust and to believe, and then to share that with our friends and with our family and with our neighbors. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Bye, kids!